Okay, now I'm all ready to print. This is my shed, my happy space for one of them. There's some lights my kids got me for Father's Day last year. Really sweet. And I've set up this uh, piece of wood. It's just a piece of plywood here with two of these um, hinge clamps for uh, attaching the screen to. So you could do this with like any piece of plywood. This is, I think, a uh, half inch thick. You might want a little thicker if you're not putting it on a surface, like three quarter inch thick. And here's the screen. So just clamp that in. And tighten it. And then that's all ready for printing. Okay, so I've just used a little um, blue painter's tape to tape the paper underneath here. So I've got black paper I'm printing on today. And then I'm going to use a little uh, spray mount to uh, make the surface a little bit sticky. So that paper will stick down right in place where I put it. Push it down, lift this up, and that'll stick to the surface. So now I've got the paper in the right place that I'm going to print onto. And then uh, I'm going to cut a couple pieces of uh, the same kind of cardstock I'm printing on to use as a, a sort of stops so that every piece of paper will land in the same place. So I'm just lifting this up part way and spraying right where it's going to land. And then I can put these down. Okay, there's one, and there's the other. And then every time I go to print, the I put down a new piece of paper each time. I'll put it there, and it'll land in just the right place. Okay, so I'm all ready to print. Except the last thing I want to do is just cover up where there might be little holes that ink can sneak through. Usually, I do the edges. Um, either on the top of the screen or the bottom of the screen or both. I think I'm just going to do the bottom for now. And then I've got some other artwork here. And uh, usually pretty neat and don't go too far onto other places like that. But just to be cautious, I'll tape off um, a few rows over here. In fact, I think I'll do it on the other side. And then um, it's handy to keep your squeegee as you're printing down on this end that hardly moves because it's near the hinge. So I usually put a few pieces of tape there. Um, it doesn't really matter if the, if the screen gets dirty with ink there, but it's a little easier if it doesn't because it's um, one less place to wash out. And since I'm doing my washout mostly outside, like against a tree, I want to minimize how much uh, of the inks I'm just leaving in there, in our lawn and spreading around. Okay. Okay, so I have a pretty black ink there, um, some gray that I've mixed before. I'm just going to mix them together to make a um, pretty, pretty dark gray. Okay, so I've got a spatula, it'll be a lot better for mixing well. And that's pretty good. Dark gray will really, it'll dry much darker than it looks. And so it'll often come out almost black. I like using not quite completely black, um, just so you can sort of see the, the dark color. And I'm trying to roughly match the paper for, for something weird I'm doing in this print. Um, and then I'm going to add a little bit of transparent extender base. Um, I don't really want to give it much transparency, but this stuff tends to liquefy the ink a lot. So a little of this um, can make it a little bit thinner, and this just this feels a little bit thick to me. There we go. 